Hello everyone, um, <laughs> welcome to another video. So we're trying new angles. I feel like I say this in every video, but we're trying new angles. <laughs> um, this is my Squishmallow, Dane the Dragon. He's a little washed out right now, but um, let me know if you like this setup. I think it's fun because you can kind of see some of the things in the back, but it's a little washed out. So like, I don't know whatever <laughs> so today I am filming my November TBR so I have a pretty ambitious TBR it is nonfiction November it is um, the 1000 doors readathon I feel like there's other readathons happening too um, but let's get into it so for nonfiction November So for nonfiction November, I have three books that I would like to read. Actually, four. Um, one of them I have out from the library right now as an audiobook, and that is You Always Remember Your First by Alexis Co., which is a feminist retelling of the life of George Washington, um, which I think is really interesting to come from that perspective. Uh, I love Alexis Co. I often follow them on... Um, like through their interviews and stuff and I just think they're really cool I first found out about them from the podcast uh, call your girlfriend so I'm really excited to finally be reading their book and then I also found this book from a podcast it's called dark archives a librarian's Inves investigation into the science and history of books bound in human skin by Megan Rosenblum um, Megan Rosenblum was re recently a guest on the podcast Ologies, which is one of my favorite podcasts, and um, if you don't know Ologies, every episode follows like a different spe science specialization, and so um, the host will ask, pretty much ask dumb questions to these people who are like experts in this field, and Meg Megan Rosenblum is an expert in books found in human skin, and her book recently came out. So I decided to buy it because I loved that episode and I thought it was a really interesting topic that I didn't know a lot about. So definitely going to read that. Um, the next book that I plan to read in November is The Princess Diaries by Carrie Fisher. Uh, this month I plan to finally <laughs> start watching the Star Wars movies, which I kind of grew up with. I remember some of them, but not all of them, but I don't remember really anything that happens. Um, so I had this book for a long time. I think I got it on sale, like at a used bookstore or something, and decided to pick it up. So I think now is the perfect time, now that I'm finally getting more familiar with Carrie Fisher's work. I've heard really good things about this. I heard she's a really great writer, so I'm excited to get to that. And then lastly, for Nonfiction November, I plan to finish Romantic Outlaws, um, which is a dual biography about Mary Wilson Craft and Mary Shelley, who were mother and daughter. I've talked about this book so many times on this channel, but I'm like more than ha well, I'm halfway through, but like the book really ends here. So I'm like a third, like three, three quarters of the way through <laughs> this book. I really like it. I love the writing style. It's interesting. I just like keep putting it down and I always forget to pick it back up. So hopefully we'll finish that this month as well. Next is a book that I have already started. I'm on page 20. And that is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I have never read this book before. I've heard really good things about it. Um, especially in like the later fall, early winter months. I love to read like a fantasy, like a really magical fantasy book. So I heard this has like a magical forest and is mysterious and stuff. So I definitely plan to read that. Next, I would like to read... The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chaksi, which I read before, so it would be a reread. And I would also like to read the sequel to this, which is The Silvered Serpents. Um, when I first read this book, I gave it a five out of five stars. It's so good. Um, I love it. The cover is like so beautiful and shiny. And this is just like one of my favorite books. Um, so I would love to do a reread of it before I read the sequel, which I don't even own yet. The next book that I would like to pick up is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, which Megan um, is doing a read-along for um, for the next three months. We'll be reading one book in the series until we finish the trilogy, 
So I've been looking for an excuse to pick this book up and I think this is the perfect time to do it. And again, this is like magical fantasy and it takes place in the winter and it just sounds so good. Um, so I'm really, really excited to get to this one. Next, I will be doing a reread of Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin, which is or was one of my favorite books of last year. Um, it is one of my favorite books of all time, and I still, surprisingly, have not gotten to the sequel yet, which is Blood and Honey. Um, and so I plan to read both of these this month. Um, they're both really long. I feel like this is a very ambitious TBR because of how long all these books are, but I'm hopeful, like we have Thanksgiving break and stuff, so I'm really hopeful that I'll be able to get to all of these, but I guess we'll see. Um, next we have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Um, I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. This is like one of my most anticipated books of the year. I got mine from Book of the Month, and I've heard the writing is beautiful, and I'm so excited to get into it. Oh, I can't wait. And then finally, I have The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, which I started reading this summer, and I got about halfway through before stopping, but I did just recently get the audiobook from the library again so that I can continue reading this and then hopefully continuing with the series because I know the fourth book is coming out um, I think later this month or in December so uh, I love this book it's like a super high fantasy it's my first Brandon Sanderson so I'm having a lot of fun it's just like a very dense fantasy that like it's hard to focus on with school and stuff but overall excited so yeah that is my TBR <laughs> for November. I'm really excited to get to all these books. Hopefully I do get to all of them. I know, like I said before, this is a very ambitious TBR. I'm hopeful with the help of audiobooks and my reading abilities that I'll be able to get to all of these. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.